Hello and welcome to another video of archeometallurgie.de. Today is all about the Danzig handgun, later to be cast in bronze. Today is all about making a handgun. We start by making a wax model and then cover it in clay to make the mold. Here I'm making a model of the so-called Danzig handgun. Here is a close-up of the casting model of the Danzig handgun with its three heads. We will cover this now with a molding loam so that we may cast it later or tomorrow. How do you have to imagine the production of such a cast piece? Well, this model is all black, but it is still a model made of wax, which is only dyed black with soot, so that during modeling you can actually see what you are doing. The wax model is then covered in a refractory mass, in this case a molding loam made of clay and animal hair. After that it's dried and then burned out in the fire. This creates the mold cavity in which we can pour the metal. The Danzig handgun is a very early form of firearm from the Middle Ages. It is a very exciting piece because at the muzzle it possesses a three-faced head. This is interpreted as the Slavic god Triglav. This is interesting because it shows a deity on a firearm. Now the whole model is covered really thoroughly in loam. The whole model is carefully covered with a first layer. In this process, all the fine components are laid into the indentations of the wax model. Now I can start to build the actual mold. Upon completion, the mold receives a funnel at the top. The mold is then finished and must be dried and fired. The mold is air dried for a while and will later be fired, whereby the actual mold cavity is created.
We are now in the workshop and are going to finish the handgun of Danzig. Yes, I know, it's from Schwed. It's still called the Danzig handgun. And now it's all about grinding, fettling and finishing the handgun. I will also use the chisel extensively as this is the most important tool if you have to get rid of mold flashings and other smaller casting fins. At last we are going to make a tiller and put the handgun on top of it. Stay with me if you are interested in these steps. Well, the whole piece is done. We've made the tiller from ash wood, so that in theory we could use it to shoot. For the time being I maintain safety precautions, that is, these cast handguns should not be used for shooting, not unless we've tested them more thoroughly in terms of their capabilities. So if you wanted to use them, say for salute shooting, it would be the safe option to put in a steel tubing. You know, you can do that but that was not the goal with this particular gun. To this end, check out my latest video where you will learn a few basic terms of metallography and also can see how well or not well these guns were cast. And now I hope you did like what you've seen in this video and would like to hear what you think. Was soll man noch sagen? Fertig!